Hello boxing fans. Me, Mr. Zas, reporting on the good stuff, you know, the interesting fights, and this time we have return of Octopus Okoli versus the Bridgeweight champion Razinski. Yes, it's happening Razinski after demolishing, absolutely smashing uh, Alan the Babbage will gonna be taking in Okoli. That will gonna be a tough one. So yes people, Octopus Okoli versus Razinski. We know Razinski will gonna bring fire and Okoli gonna clinch. Just gonna use his natural ab abilities, attributes of someone who's 6'5 to keep the distance and just make it boring as possible. If I need to describe Okoli's fighting style in few words, it's like McDonald's on Monday evening. The lights is on, but no one is buying the food. No one is buying the tickets to see Okoli fighting. Razinski taking on Okoli, definitely that's a good for the division, bridgeway division, because it kind of shows attraction from outside. Okoli still is household name, even though he really didn't did so well in cruiserway division as couldn't really bring the fire. But that's a bit more, I think, his own personal style. Plus, how to, I can say the cruiserweight division is a tough division to promote anyway. People are not really that interested. So, regardless of that, there's always another possibility. A call is kind of targeting Dylan White. He's been doing that for ages. I don't think this will gonna happen. But if the bone has been thrown to a callie, I think he would pull out from the fight to fight Dylan White for much more money. Will this gonna happen? I don't think so, guys, because White has plenty chances in past to make this fight happen. It never did, so I think it's not underrated, to be honest. And for Rzinski taking on Okoli, that's a big step, you know, that will gonna give lots of legitimacy to the belt, it will gonna elevate all that, so... I think he really needs to know what he's doing, but at the same time, already there is public opinion formed, as you can see in these statistics. So yes, in this case, public opinion already has formed that Okoli is kind of edging forward to win this fight on decision. I would say it's either Razinski by KO or Okoli by decision, as he has the natural abilities to win this fight. But even so, if he wins the fight, that will not gonna really change much for Okoli's life because he, as a person, was doing poorly in attention wise and generating pay per view in the cruiserweight division. It not gonna switch around his career if he becomes a champion for a second time. The championship not gonna change the, his life around in any way. People not gonna watch his fights more than they did in cruiserweight. So I think it's kind of good point of view for Rzinski, but for Okoli, he's kind of just justifying to being a champion, even though he was a champion and he couldn't really do much. So, a very tough fight, not really sure why Rzinski took this fight. I will favor Okoli to win this fight, just because of his youth and experience, but you know guys, only time will tell. Uh, I'm really hoping this will gonna be an interesting fight, I will gonna tune in and I hope you will too guys. So yes, Mr. Zess out, until next time, thank you for watching.